Looking at these guys at our social events, and I love watching these videos, right? Especially that wonderful video shot from behind the guy, where you can see the guys engaging the women in conversation, right? And just see how all the women at the table are talking to him, looking at him, engaging him. It's, it's really cool, right? The ultimate goal here is you're going to be asking these women out for dates. And they're gonna say, sure, absolutely, I'd love a date. And you're gonna make dates. You're gonna leave the social events with dates. And it's wonderful to have dates. That's the whole reason you're doing this, because you wanna go abroad, you wanna meet women in a comfortable environment, have some great dates, create a romantic spark, and you want that to culminate in the creation of a relationship that you're really excited about and happy to be in. So those first dates are really, really critical. And I think it's important to talk about, we're gonna talk about three first date best practices to ensure that you get a second date. Number one, I'm telling you guys, have a little bit of style. For the love of God, have a little bit of style. If you have a sense of style, if you have just a little bit of a sense of style, the women are gonna notice that and they're going to like it. Very simple things, guys. I'm not talking about spending a ton of money here, but I am talking about putting some effort into your appearance. Show up for your date with a little bit of style, maybe some killer style. She will definitely notice that, like that, appreciate it, I promise you. It's important for you on your date, step number two, you choose the date venue. You choose where you're going for your date. Women like a man to show initiative. Most of the time the women want you to choose the restaurant and they want to see what restaurant you choose. They want to see what you, what environment you want to have a date in. So just ask our staff, I need a few date options. And if you have a chance guys, maybe take your interpreter for lunch or you and a tour mate, go for a quick lunch. Go check the place out a little bit. Go have lunch, familiarize yourself with the menu and you don't get comfortable with that environment so that you can invite her to this restaurant and you're already somewhat familiar with it by the time you get there for your first date. Choose the venue, choose carefully so you don't overspend, but definitely choose something that's romantic. This is your first date, you wanna leave a good impression. And here's number three. Now I'll tell you what, we're gonna spend a little time on number three. If you read women's profiles, they will frequently say, I want a man who's generous. What do they mean by that? Most of the time, when a woman says she wants to meet a man who's generous, she means a man who's not cheap. A man who's appropriate, a man who's going to remember important dates. This whole idea of giving a small, unique gift on every first date is your great opportunity to do something that's not expensive, that's very unique, that shows you're romantic and thoughtful, and it will leave a really, really great impression, and I'm gonna give you some great examples. I'm talking about very nice chocolate. You can certainly give very nice chocolate to a girl on a date. She'll appreciate that. You know, I was shopping today and I saw this chocolate. I hope you like chocolate, I just wanted. It could be something really unique. I'm not talking about run of the mill chocolate. I'm talking about something that's very unique and beautiful. A perfume sample collection is a great first gift for somebody you're really excited about. You know, a Marc Jacobs, for example, or, or something similar to that. Uh, and uh, you've got a particular uh, brand of, of perfume you know, you can find all over the place in airports, quite frankly, and duty-free, they have them all the time. These collections of smaller bottles of perfume from, from one brand all packaged together would be a really nice gift for her. You know, very unique flowers, we'll talk about that. I think a gift card, a small gift card, maybe in a nice box is a great idea. I'll give you an example of that in a moment as well. You know, certain kinds of cosmetics. You could go to Walgreens or Target or any place that sells basic cosmetics. You could buy several little gift bag of cosmetics. You know, familiarize yourself with products like Lush or Bath and Body Works, places where you can get really great smelling unique stuff. And a few gift bags, you know, and a few particular kinds of, of lotion or simple sweet perfume. Who wouldn't appreciate that, right? You know, all of those things are what women want in a guy when they date internationally. Can you do all of that? You know, some of you, if you're not comfortable with the suggestions, do your own thing, man. But I'm telling you, if you follow those three things, whoever you are, whatever your background is, those three things are gonna get you a second date if you follow them, right? I hope that's useful and helpful to you guys. Check out our website at
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.